So I went on a walk the other day. I had that Sydney trip again. Decided to go to the beach. So this is the way I'm going to narrate this map. Right there by King's Cross. It's kind of close to our hotel. I walked down through that Centennial Park. That place is cool. That's kind of where the actual video starts. And then through Randwick. And then straight into Coogee. I think that's how they say it. Coogee Beach. Went to that little marker there the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful place. This There's a walk, like a trail they made from Coogee Beach all the way up to Bondi Beach, Bondi Beach. But uh, that's Gordon's Bay. Really cool looking place. Reminds me of Popeye's, the old Robin Williams version, Popeye's Village. Uh, let's see, Cloverly Beach. That one's kind of cool too. A little different vibe of a beach. A lot of concrete. Here's where that really cool lawnmower is. You'll see that later. That cemetery is awesome. Cool looking place. And then uh, let's see this one. This is Bronte Beach. Again, I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's cool. That one right there, Tamarama Beach. That one was my favorite of all of them. It was small, but really, really cool area. Uh, let's see. From there... It's just walking all along these cliffs. Incredible views. Lots of wind in the video, so I kind of don't talk a lot, but you're welcome for that. And then right there, Bondi to Bronte Beach Walk. I did it backwards, apparently. Right there is Bondi Beach. It's huge and a really cool, beautiful place. I highly recommend visiting if you ever get the chance. If you don't, well, here's a video that shows you what it's like. From there, to get back to the hotel, I took this walk here. Uh, not there, to the right. There we go. Straight up that road, Hall Street, over to O'Brien. And then O'Brien to that T. There's a really cool little shop there. I can't remember the name of it, but it's not Omega Mart. And it's not this haircutting place because I don't have hair, so that's not it, but it's not on the map, I guess. It's a cool shop. And then just walking on back, uh, kind of getting lost a little bit. I'm just amazed by Australia. What a beautiful place. I can't pronounce nearly any of the names of the places, but it's fun. It's beautiful. Enjoy the video. Subscribe and share if you would. It's 7 a.m. in Sydney. It's gorgeous here. It's nice and quiet. It's a Saturday morning, I think. I don't know. Across the date line, that always throws me. Beautiful, beautiful place, though. I'm on my way to the beach. Just walking. I could have taken the bus or an Uber or something, but... The two hour walk each way sounded like a good time at the time. I love these little back street town things. This little square in this part of Sydney. Captain Cook. Captain Cook statue. Claremont College. Kindergarten to year six. No wonder Aussies are so damn smart. I love this little house. Awesome. Keep walking and walking and walking. There it is. The ocean. Yeah, that's a cool little place. It's in the grocery store right there. It's awesome. It doesn't really do a tour. There it is. The ocean. Two hour walk to get here.
screaming kids. That's normally expected at the beach. This place is gorgeous. Dog like my sisters. Shepherd like my daughters. Okay, the name of this place is Kooji Beach. C O O G E E. I think it's I say it, I'm not really sure. But it's awesome. Beach. It's raining now, so that's awesome. But the views are just too awesome, too cool here. McIver's Baths, ladies and children only. Well, that just sounds interesting. This is a really, really cool walk. This is uh, Kooji Beach. Still don't know if I'm saying it right. On the beach is that direction. I figure it's about a two hour walk from here. Maybe way off on that, but I'll be doing it. It's starting to rain. But what a beautiful place. summer this place has got to be a madhouse. I think the right word for this is quaint. You got your dogs tied up outside the beachside cafe. Pretty people running in the beach. I gotta stop, otherwise that's just awkward. And there's uh, volleyball, the beach. More people running. Maybe pushing her kid in a cart. Pretty cool place. I actually think that dog is fake. It's not moving. I suppose it's real. It's so weird. This is a very tall bench. With a great view. These cliffs we were looking at, we were way over there, the cliffs are all right along this edge here. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good video or not, but what a cool, cool place.
sundial. It's not sunny, so I can't tell what time it is. That's awesome. Fuji Beach. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know. Fuji Bay. Something like that. right alongside the cliff. Let's do a screenshot of that, right? Cool here. I love those cliffs. Man, we're on the cliff. Crazy. Wow, beautiful. I want kitchen countertops to look kind of like that. Maybe not as rough. This is Gordon's Bay. Water's gorgeous when you can see it.
that wasn't me heavy breathing, that was a jogger. Um, Although I'm breathing heavy, it's quite a walk. There's that bay, I already can't remember its name, Gordon Bay or something like that. That's Cliffs. Kooky Bay. And a bunch of scoop divers getting ready to go play. This type of beach reminds me of a beach I saw in Russia. Steps, concrete, really cold water, and not a lot of people. Salt water inlet here. Cool, funky, odd shaped beach and a swimming pool. I assume that's salt water, I don't know. This is called Bundok Park. This is called Clubly Bowling Club. I need to trade in my John Deere for one of those. No idea what in the world it is other than awesome. I'm getting attacked by huge flies right now. That is so cool. It's like a giant reel mower. Just keeps going and going and going. I'm walking to Bondi Beach, Bondi Beach. So I don't know how they say it. It's all over the internet, though. <clears throat> this one's Bronte Coogee Aquatic Reserve. Really cool old cemetery. Who doesn't love old cemeteries? Cool, it would be so cool on a sunny day. A little off the by the cemetery. But so beautiful too.
That's a cool window. Your house is facing the ocean. Walkway goes along this cliff. Another beach. This is Bronte Park, or Bronte, we are in the TV. I don't know how they say that. This place is amazing. We really well, whatever. It out. Well, after I don't know how many hours walking, probably four or something, here's Bondi Beach. It's beautiful. Now you've seen it, you don't have to fly all the way to Australia. Although I do recommend it. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. I'll be coming back for sure. Huge, huge, so much sand. Makes my toes twitch just thinking sand's all in them. This artwork.
Beach. I got this Kit Kat mint chocolate whirl. I'm going to give it a go. And a glow in the dark mountain dew. Just because. We'll see how this goes. So the Kit Kat's all fancy. Yeah. That tastes pretty alright. And that is the right way to eat a Kit Kat. I don't care what anyone says. So I'm here eating my mint whirl Kit Kat. Watching this homeboy do some kind of sidewalk art. A couple people have asked him to stop. He just ignores him. He's busy. A lot of this in Sydney. Split homes. So they literally split them. This color? Nope. This one and this one? This one? No. This one? It's kind of funny. I get it, I suppose. Okay, so this is the hotel room in Sydney. I go grab this TV. Somebody's got their own little deal in here. There's Tabasco, Cholula, lemon juice, lemon juice, olive oil, and apple cider vinegar. That is pretty fun. There's another view with the flash on. I just realized I could do that. That's kind of cool. I don't know how long this stuff's been here. Let's see. Literally no dust. And a Cholula. So what does this look like? There's a lot of dust on the bottom there, but this stuff is clean on top. Huh. That's cool. I'm going to start sneaking around in the hotel room, seeing what we got hidden around. <laughs> Alright, so. Again, here's the hotel room. This light, I got my flash on right now, but this light at night is a total nightmare. So I pulled the TV out to block it with my little envelope there that my key came in. <laughs> That's where I found that stash. This is without the flash, so you can see how bright that light is. Once you turn all the lights out, it's super, super bright. So stuff this envelope, lifted the TV, wedged it in there and I saw this little glimpse of something back there. It's a stash.